Kid, you, yeah you, you wanna learn some Revit? Well, you're at the right place. Well, that's going to be a topic of today's video. So I'm going to be talking about why should you absolutely le learn Revit in 2019 if you're an architect, a structural engineer, a civil engineer, or pretty much have anything to do with the building industry, you should probably know Revit. So Revit is this tool that's a building information modeling software or BIM software for short and it's slowly becoming the, the go-to software for most big projects. Now, uh, in, in my line of work, I get to talk to many different people in the building industry and more and more people, when they, when they hear what I do, I, they do Revit tutorials, uh, more and more times I get that, hey, cool, you do Revit, we're just uh, switching over to Revit or we just started to, to switch over to Revit or we switched to Revit a year ago. So uh, a lot of uh, architectural firms or a civil engineer firms are slowly switching to Revit. And uh, it's just a matter of fact that in the 21st century, if you don't know Revit, you can't really operate as an architect uh, very well. So why is this? Well, uh, Revit is, a, is an extremely complex piece of software. That's why people, when they just open it for the first time and try to do something in it, uh, they think it's it's bad. It doesn't work very well. You're, they feel like uh, they're they're confined, like they can't do uh, whatever they like, like they can in AutoCAD. It's not that simple. So they say, oh, well, Revit doesn't work. It's not good for complex projects. It's, it's it doesn't work. So uh, the problem really isn't in Revit. The problem problem is in knowledge of Revit, people just don't know, uh, they don't know what it can do. Not only that they don't know how to do that themselves, I don't know how to do myself, like everything, but uh, I know it can be done. Uh, I know probably the approach to learning how to do it or to figuring out how to do it, even though I might not know many topics. So just understanding what can be done is very important and also knowing how to approach uh, problems. And for this, you really need to start learning uh, Revit uh, as soon as possible because it's slowly becoming uh, just a mandatory thing to know if you want to become an architect in the 21st century. Uh, it, Still, we have some older architects with a lot of experience that can get away with not knowing uh, advanced softwares because uh, they just have so much knowledge uh, about their line of work that they can have uh, a couple assistants that are uh, working and putting everything into the computer. But if you're just starting out as an architect or you're a young architect, uh, you should really get that software side developed uh, because it's, uh, it's just becoming a mandatory thing to know. Now, uh, the reason why Revit is kind of catching slowly, uh, you're probably thinking, well, Revit isn't a new software, it was here like 10 years ago, why, why isn't everybody using Revit yet? Well, <laughs> it's because it's extremely complicated, it's complicated to learn, it's complicated to do projects in it, but once you develop a system that works for the type of projects that you're working in, it's extremely fast and it's going to uh, replace or make a lot of uh, architects redundant because just like with AutoCAD where just people started drafting in AutoCAD you really didn't have the need for so many drafters it's going to be the same thing with Revit when we absolutely switch from AutoCAD to Revit you really need less uh, people working on projects because software is doing uh, most of the work and uh, you can become better as an architect or the when working with Revit because it allows you to move elements around in such a quick way. Uh, it's even better than sketching in some ways. Of course, nothing will ever replace sketching because it's uh, probably the best way to get your ideas out of your mind and on paper. But uh, when you're just kind of figuring out floor plans or stuff like that, it's really easy when you have an option to just kind of move elements uh, around pretty organically. And I know a lot of people that don't really use Revit for their projects, but they still use it to figure out floor plans because it's so easy to move around doors, windows, walls and all of the elements It's and that's not really something that's all that difficult to learn. So they learn how to do just the floor plan and uh, then they play around, figure out their floor plan and then they continue on in uh, AutoCAD or SketchUp or whatever software that they're using. 
But anyways, in 2019, uh, I think Revit is going to be uh, becoming more and more important in the building industry. And uh, by some uh, studies, uh, by the year uh, 2020, uh, it will the BIM industry will reach like 10 billion dollars or something like that. So it's a massive industry. And uh, if you are anywhere in the building industry, you should really get started with learning Revit. And uh, please share this with all of your friends that they're that they are a, a bit stubborn and don't want to learn this new piece of software it's uh, it's really fun to learn once you get started so you should really get into it and get interested as soon as possible so yeah that's it for uh, this quick rant about why should everybody learn Revit in 2019 as long as you're an architect. If you're a painter, yeah, you probably don't need to learn it. So tell me in the comment section below, are you just getting started? Is it maybe your New Year's resolution to learn Revit uh, in this year? Or uh, do you already know it very well, but you're kind of trying to encourage uh, friends uh, around your architects that you know that they should probably start learning it. So again, share it with the friends that don't want to learn Revit just to kind of push them in that direction and yeah that's it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day